I'm Stephen Goodman for Flyer News, and our question for Word on the Street this week, how have the recent campus safety advisories changed the precautions that you normally take, if at all? All right, so our question this time around, it's uh, have, how have the recent campus safety advisories that have been sent out over the last few days, uh, how have those changed the precautions that you normally take, if at all? Um, I mean, for me at least, just like, it's just kind of made me um, more cautious about like, where I am on campus and just kind of like what time I'm out walking around and uh, just making sure that I'm not anywhere too dangerous. I was in the library the other night when it happened, so I just made sure that um, I walked back, my walk back was safe and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and I, th it, I think that people should definitely, if it's late, like walk with someone, don't walk alone, yeah. especially if you're there. Definitely. So take more precautions. You don't want anything to happen to anyone. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so our question this time, it's uh, in response to the recent campus safety advisories that have been sent out. Uh, how have they changed the precautions that you normally take, if at all? Um, I mean, I'm a little guy. Sometimes I worry about walking home, even from the library. Uh, I might just walk home with a buddy. Um, yeah, but I'm a little tense about it, but it's all right. I, I like the new system and how they get your responses and alert you really quick. All right, so this time our question is in response to the recent campus safety advisories that have been sent out. Uh, how have they changed any precautions you take, if at all? Um, I think it's just more of making sure you're with people and being like conscious of the fact that you can't be like walking alone later in the night. So, you know, it doesn't really change much, but just kind of like take extra precautions. So our question this time, it's in response to the uh, recent campus safety advisories that have been sent out. Uh, how have those emails changed any precautions you take, if at all? No, not really. I mean, I know that things can happen anywhere on campus, but I wouldn't say it's impacted me too much on how I walk around or carry myself around campus. Okay. That's all for this week. For more updates, be sure to look us up on flyernews.com. Follow us on Twitter, at Flyer News, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and SoundCloud.